Hi, my name is Evan Mazunik, and welcome. Uh, this week's sound painting video is uh, obviously a couple days uh, behind schedule. Uh, it's a Tuesday today, not a Saturday. Uh, I just got back from a tour with Zaha down to uh, South Carolina and back. Had a great week. Uh, really want to thank all of uh, the Zaha members and everyone who helped out in every city uh, to host us. I'd like to thank our Kickstarter backers for making it possible. We had just a great week, uh, and we've been posting some photos, a few photos on our Facebook page, uh, as well as um, uh, posting some updates for our Kickstarter backers. <clears throat> so, again, uh, it's a little relaxed. I just got back in town, and uh, thanks for your patience on this week's video. But uh, I wanted to share with you one thing we were experimenting with and working with down in a workshop in uh, Charleston, which had some great results. So great, in fact, that we ended up uh, using it in our performance that evening at uh, the Halsey Institute, uh, an art gallery down there. Uh, we worked with a gesture who, and who, as I understand it, is really speaking in the interrogative to the ensemble. So often the sound painter is speaking in the um, uh, imperative. They're asking for, or even really requiring everyone to respond to their gestures. I love gesture who, which is a bit more of a surprise. Uh, for instance, um, we used it, whole group, who wants to play long tone. And we could have no one come in, or anyone come in, or the whole group come in. Uh, it's really a performer choice, uh, whether they want to uh, follow that next sculpting gesture the next content or not. So uh, we really had a lot of fun working with Who. In fact, our, our piece ended when I said whole group, Who wants to do a hit, uh, and then cut off. And the whole group chose to do it, and that was the end of our piece. So it was a surprise to me as well as the rest of the group, but this idea of Who, where the performer chooses uh, if they want to uh, follow the next uh, sculpting gesture, the next content, uh, is really, really powerful, and I love the way it changed the dynamic with the, um, uh, with the ensemble. So again, I just wanted to share this gesture with you. I, I know it's uh, currently in development. I know it's a gesture that's newer in the language, and uh, I know it's being workshopped, and it might be a bit of slang, uh, but it was really, really powerful. So I wanted to go ahead and start sharing some of that, our uh, working process with you, and invite you into the conversation and the dialogue, and uh, tell me how this works for you and your group. But let's try it. Alright, how was that? How was that with your group? Uh, really look forward to your response, to your video responses, any comments or questions. Join the conversation, and I'll see you next week.